and chronic wasting disease or CWD spreads among deer and is often deadly. But a group of East Texas women are trying to stop it. KTK's Ashlyn Anderson tells us how ladies are working to combat this disease. Chronic wasting disease, also known as CWD, affects the brain of the deer that comes across it, causing stumbling, confusion, and weight loss for the animal. If you would like to compare it to something, you compare it to something like Alzheimer's or the um, scrapies and sheep. Jody Phillips is the owner of P-Bar Whitetails in Bullard and her all-female staff are attacking this disease head on at their facility by robust testing. Through science to genetically breed resistance into our herds and so therefore making our herds safe. This disease is transmitted in the wild by bodily fluids, food, water and soil. No deer's ever been recorded to die from CWD. Um, Typically, they will die from something else long before CWD kills them. Breeding facilities are heavily regulated by the Texas Parks and Wildlife. Phillips says they've tested more deer than they've tested in the wild. Free range deer, only 14,000 of those or so have been tested um, of the about 0.25% or 5.7 million deer in the state of Texas. Their high surveillance and breeding program has kept their CWD infection and death rate down. Our deer are raised under low stress situations. Uh, our sickness is kept at a very, very low rate. Um, these deer have their water troughs dumped twice a day. To suppress this disease and learn the most from it, testing happens often by a veterinarian. We are all conservationists. Um, helping protect the natural resource of white-tailed deer in the state of Texas. Eliminating this disease now to protect their future. Ashlyn Anderson, KTK News. Experts say if you consume a deer with CWD, you will not get the disease. 